Have you ever wondered how to rise strong after facing challenges and setbacks? In the world we live in, adversity is as common as the sunrise, yet not every soul knows how to rise from the ashes of defeat and bloom like a phoenix. This is where Rising Strong by Brene Brown steps in, a transformative book that explores the process of rising strong after facing challenges and setbacks. Brown, a renowned scholar, has spent years researching vulnerability, shame and courage. Her work has given birth to this masterpiece that is not just a book, but a guide to resilience and overcoming adversity. It focuses on the human spirit and its unyielding strength, guiding us on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Rising Strong is more than just words on paper. It's a testament to our inherent strength and our capacity to rise from the ashes. Now we delve into the wisdom that Brene Brown shares in her transformative book. Brene starts our journey with the first step, the reckoning. In the realm of rising strong, the reckoning is our first encounter. It is the moment we come face to face with our emotions when we stumble, when we trip over life's unexpected hurdles, when our feelings bear the brunt of the impact. It's not about pointing fingers, assigning blame or wallowing in self-pity. No, the reckoning is an invitation to acknowledge our emotions, to own them, to recognize their power and their influence over our actions and reactions. You see, emotions aren't just fleeting sensations that brush past us like a gust of wind. They are the compass that guides our journey, the driving force behind our decisions, the catalyst for our actions. When we stub our toe on a piece of furniture, we don't just feel the physical pain, we experience a rush of emotions, frustration, anger, annoyance, these emotions surge within us, urging us to react. That's where the reckoning comes in. The reckoning is about pausing for a moment, taking a deep breath and taking stock of these emotions. It's about asking ourselves, what am I feeling right now? Why am I feeling this way? How is this emotion influencing my reaction? It's about turning inward, peeling back the layers of our emotional response and understanding what's really going on beneath the surface. But here's the thing, the reckoning isn't easy, it's not comfortable, it's like stepping into a cold shower, jarring, shocking, even a little bit painful, but just as the cold water can invigorate us, wake us up, make us feel alive, so too can the reckoning. It can shake us out of our autopilot mode, force us to confront our emotions and ultimately empower us to take control of our reactions. In the grand scheme of rising strong, the reckoning is the first step towards self-awareness the first milestone on the path to emotional resilience. It's the beginning of a journey, one that leads us towards understanding, acceptance and ultimately, personal growth. Remember, recognizing our emotions forms the cornerstone of the process of rising strong. Next, we venture into the phase called the rumble. The rumble is an essential phase in Brene Brown's rising strong process. It's the stage where we face our stories head on, where we confront ourselves, our decisions, our emotions, and our actions. In the rumble, we're not just acknowledging our stories, we are owning them. This is the part where we take responsibility for our own narratives, where we stop blaming others or circumstances for our choices and start acknowledging our role in how our lives have unfolded. This can be a tough pill to swallow, as it often involves coming face to face with uncomfortable truths about ourselves. However, it's in this discomfort, this confrontation with reality, that we find the courage to change. Courage is not the absence of fear, rather, it's the ability to move forward despite the fear. It's the strength to say, yes, this is my story, yes, these are my mistakes, but they do not define me. I can change, I can do better. The rumble demands honesty, it calls for vulnerability, it asks us to strip away the layers of denial and self-deception that we've built up over time. This isn't about self-flagellation or wallowing in regret, it's about self-awareness. It's about recognizing our patterns, our triggers, our strengths, and our weaknesses. It's about understanding who we are, why we do what we do, and how we can do better. The rumble is about courage, it's about vulnerability, it's about truth, but most importantly, it's about ownership. It's about taking control of our stories and deciding that we are more than our past mistakes, more than our fears, more than our insecurities. It's about deciding that we are capable of growth, of change, of resilience. 
Remember the goal isn't to win the rumble, the goal is to survive it, to come out the other side stronger, wiser and more resilient. It's about learning to rise from our falls, dust ourselves off and keep moving forward. Facing our own truth is not easy, but it is a vital step in our journey to rise strong. Finally, we arrive at the revolution. This is the stage where we don't just survive, but thrive. We face the reckoning, we've wrestled with the rumble, and now we stand on the precipice of transformation. The revolution is about transforming the way we live, love, work and play. It's about making our lives more authentic and meaningful. It's about embracing our stories, not just the parts we're proud of, but the parts we've kept hidden in the shadows. This is not a simple overnight process. It's a journey, a continuous cycle of falling and rising, of learning and unlearning. It's about accepting our vulnerabilities and our strengths, our triumphs and our failures, our joys and our sorrows. In the revolution, we learn that we are more than the sum of our parts. We are not defined by our past, but by how we rise from it. We are not the product of our circumstances, but the architects of our future. We are not victims of our stories, but the authors. This transformation is not just personal, it's societal. It's about challenging the status quo, breaking down barriers and creating a world where everyone has the opportunity to rise strong. It's about fostering a culture of empathy and understanding, where we can share our stories without fear of judgment or shame. We also learn that we are not alone in our struggles. We are part of a community, a global tribe of individuals who are all striving to rise strong. We are interconnected, our stories woven together in a tapestry of shared experiences. We come to understand that our capacity to rise strong lies not only in our ability to embrace our vulnerabilities, but also in our ability to empathize with others. We learn that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. We learn that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a strength. The revolution signifies a profound transformation, a testament to our strength and resilience. It's a call to arms, a rallying cry for all of us to rise strong, to embrace our stories, to transform our lives, and to change the world. Brene Brown offers us some powerful insights in rising strong. From the depths of our vulnerabilities to the peaks of our courage, she takes us on a journey of self-discovery and resilience. Let's revisit the key points we've unearthed in our exploration. The process begins with the reckoning, where we confront our emotions head on. Acknowledging our feelings is the first step towards understanding our reactions to life's challenges. It is in this stage that we learn to stop running from our emotions and instead face them with courage. This leads us to the rumble, a stage characterized by deep introspection and reflection. Here, we learn to own our stories, even the ones that scare or embarrass us. By embracing our narratives, we can start to see the truth of our experiences rather than the stories we tell ourselves to feel safe. Finally, we arrive at the revolution. This is not a violent uprising, but a transformation. It's a shift in our mindset and the way we view ourselves and our place in the world. It's about learning to see ourselves as worthy of love and belonging, regardless of our flaws or the mistakes we've made. Rising strong is not just about bouncing back from adversity, it's about using that adversity as a springboard for growth. It's about understanding that our struggles are not what define us, but how we respond to them. It's about recognizing that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a strength. It's about realizing that every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. In a world that often encourages us to hide our true selves, rising strong is a call to authenticity. It's a reminder that it's okay to fall, as long as we are willing to pick ourselves up and keep moving forward. In closing, we are reminded of the words of Brene Brown herself. Vulnerability is not winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up and be seen when we have no control over the outcome. As Brene Brown shares in her book, the process of rising strong is a testament to human resilience and the power of self-awareness. So, what does it truly mean to rise strong? It's about embracing vulnerability, recognizing shame, and harnessing courage to overcome adversity. It's about the reckoning, the rumble, and the revolution. The reckoning, where we acknowledge our emotions and their impact on our lives. The rumble, where we grapple with our stories and challenge confining narratives. The revolution, where we transform the way we live, 
love and lead. Brene Brown's Rising Strong encapsulates these processes beautifully, providing a roadmap for resilience. It's not just a book, it's a life manual that encourages us to face our fears, to lean into discomfort, and to rise from our falls with a newfound strength and wisdom. This journey of self-discovery requires courage, but it leads to profound transformation. So let's step into the arena, let's rumble with our story, and let's revolutionize our lives. Remember, Everyone has the capacity to rise strong after challenges and setbacks. It is a journey of self-discovery, courage and profound transformation.